Sometimes, you know, in the old style, you want to carve your chicken in the dining room, and you will notice that you use again the same place where we use it to bone out the chicken. Wrap one leg this way, cut the skin around, and you will crack it open. It will come up the carcass, in fact, much more easily than it did when it was uncooked. Again, now the other leg, you go into it, cut the skin around, and you crack it open. Now we go to back to the joint of the wing here. You cut a piece. Again, grab it, and it could come out. We do the other side, and again, it will come out this way. I have not cut the breast in two pieces here. I have left a piece of the sternum here. So you can cut, remember, where the wishbone used to be here. You can pull it out, and again, that piece, the bone will come off the bone right there, and we'll, we will be left again with the same carcass that we had when we bone out the chicken. So, what happened is that you put it back there, take that piece of meat, yeah, to place back on the chicken here. You wanna take your wing here. You wanna place the other breast right there. The leg, the second leg, you want to be nice presentation, maybe with a nice bunch watercress and chicken go so well together, and probably drip a little bit of your natural juice on top. And this is it, your simple roast chicken with a natural juice and watercress.